Welcome to the session on concept mapping with Google Docs Drawings. Google Docs Drawings makes creating concept maps and mind maps very easy. How many times have you asked students to create a concept map or a mind map to organize information or represent what they know in a graphical format? I'll bet you've received some concept maps like I have. They've been squashed onto the bottom portion of the page because the student started the map in the center of the page, thinking it would fill the whole page that way. And you probably would have liked to have provided feedback to the student and then asked that they revise the concept map based on that feedback, or perhaps it would have been beneficial for a group of students to collaborate on a concept map. Well, now with Google Docs drawings, you can make concept maps, and so can your students. They can collaborate on them and share them and really make them nice looking. So to get started with making a concept map, we're going to create a new document. So click on Create New Drawing. Now initially when you start a concept map, you like to have the title in a box or a square up at the top. So we're going to choose a shape by clicking on Shape. We have lots of choices here. I'm just going to pick a rectangle with rounded corners click and drag it out in the top center of the page. To add my text, I simply double click on the inside of the shape and the text box opens up. So I'm going to type in concept mapping. I'd like this to appear on two lines, so I'm going to hold down the shift and the enter key and I'm going to say with Google Docs drawings. Now to enter the text into that shape that I drew out, all I do is hit enter. Now notice that the text doesn't fit very well. So I can drag out the box so that it fits better. Now I'd like to make some connecting lines or possibly arrows to connect the title that I just created with some of the other boxes that I'm going to create. I can choose an arrow or a line or a freeform shape. In this case I'll just choose an arrow. Simply click on it and click and drag that arrow out. So in this way, you can add connecting links and additional shapes to your concept map. Now, let's look at working with the text. There are lots of ways that you can change your text. You can change the size of it, the color, the alignment, and the style. All you need to do is click on the text, and all of your tools open up. So if I want to change the size of the text, I simply pull down the menu. I can make it smaller, I can make it larger. I'm going to leave it at 14 point for right now. If I'd like to change the color of it, I can choose from some of these pre-selected colors or I can select a custom color. I'm just going to make the text red at this point. I can also change the text to italicized. I can make it bold or I can edit the text further. That's working with the text. What about working with the shapes themselves? I can change the shapes. Simply click. I can change the fill color. It's blue now. Let's change it to yellow. I can change the color of the line surrounding the box. I'll make that red. I can change the width of that line. Right now it's two pixels. Let's go up to four. And I can also change the style. could make it a dashed, dash dot, however I'd like it to look. I can add images to my concept map. Very simply, I click on Insert, click on Image, and I have a choice. I can upload an image from a file, something that's already on my computer. I can enter the URL of an image, or I can actually do a Google image search right here within this drawing. So I'm just going to search on concept map. And see what comes up. Oh, this one looks interesting. Let's click this one and select it. Now it's going to be too large, so I just need to resize it. And then I can move it around. Thanks for joining me for part one of this session.